Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these awesome Minecraft back to school supplies. They are super easy to make and they're super affordable. First, I'm going to start off by showing you how to make this creeper pencil case. So here's what you'll need. A green pencil case, a paintbrush and a mixing tray, a ruler, some black paint, a pencil, and some tape. So let's begin. Start off by grabbing your pencil case, your ruler, and a pencil. The first thing we'll be doing is drawing a creeper on the front side about an inch and a half from the top of the pencil case. I'm going to go ahead and make a little mark right at the center of where my eyes will be so that I can use it as a guide. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and begin drawing your creeper. You'll see a picture with the measurements I used on the screen. Depending on the size of your pencil case, you might want to make the creeper face either a little bit bigger or smaller. So now that we have our creeper drawn on, go ahead and tape the outer edges. Once you've done that, we're ready to paint. Grab your brush and your black paint and begin painting in your creeper. For the final step, you want your paint to fully dry and then you want to go ahead and remove the tape. So here's what your creeper pencil case should look like when it's all done. Next up, we're going to be making a creeper folder. So we're going to use the same supplies once again, except this time we're going to be doing it on a green folder. So again, begin drawing your creeper face just like we did on the pencil case. Since the folder is a larger surface, I'm going to be making the creeper face a little bit bigger. Once again, I'll have the measurements on the screen. So here is our creeper folder all done. Again, you'll need all the same supplies we used before, except we're going to be using a composition book. Before we get started, we need to remove the logo. To do so, grab some nail polish remover and a cotton ball. Put some nail polish remover on your cotton ball and begin rubbing off as much of the logo as possible. You might want to test this out on a small portion of the cover to make sure it's safe. Once you've done that, you can use a dish sponge to gently scrub off the rest. Once I had all that done, I went ahead and followed the same steps as before. So here is our creeper notebook all done, along with our creeper folder and creeper pencil case. Now we're going to move on to our Enderman. First, we're going to make an Enderman pencil pouch. So here's what you'll need. A black pencil pouch, a brush with a mixing tray, a ruler, some red, white, and purple paint, and a pencil. So let's begin. First, grab your pencil pouch, your ruler, and a pencil. What you want to do first is draw two equal rectangles for the eyes. I went ahead and made each eye two by one inch. And I also left about half an inch gap in between each eye. When you're drawing your eyes, you want to make sure that they're going to be in the center of your pencil pouch. I went ahead and used the white crayon so you guys could see my lines more clearly, but you could go ahead and use the pencil. Now that we have our eyes drawn on, I went ahead and used a cloth with a bit of water to remove any of the additional white marks that I made. Next, you want to get your paint ready. Mix a little of your red and white paint together, then add a bit of purple until you get a pink lavender shade. Once you've done that, tape the outer edges of your eyes and begin painting both eyes. You want to wait for the first color to dry completely and then get your purple paint and add a bit of white and red. Then you can begin painting the center of the eyes for the pupils. Once it's all dry, you can go ahead and remove the tape. So here is our Enderman pencil pouch all done. Next, we're going to be making an Enderman folder. So you want to follow all the same steps that we did for Enderman pencil pouch, but on a black folder. So here we have both our Enderman folder and our Enderman pencil pouch all done. For our last DIY, we will be making a Minecraft inspired notebook that's perfect for anyone who wants a subtle way to show off their love for Minecraft. So here's what you'll need. Any notebook or composition book with a cardboard cover, an X-Acto knife and a cutting mat, 
one sheet of computer paper and one sheet of white cardstock, a glue stick, and some scissors. So let's begin. The first step is to grab your computer paper and either print or draw your Minecraft letter. I'm going to be making my notebook using the first letter of my name, so I made a Z. I will have a link to the Minecraft font I used down in the description below. So once your letter is done, you want to go ahead and cut out the inner part of the letter so we can use this sheet as a stencil. Next, you want to grab your notebook and place the cutting mat inside of the front page. So now place your stencil at the center of the notebook, grab your X-Acto knife and very carefully begin marking out your letter. Make sure you're very careful with this and that you take your time and to ask an adult for help. Once I had the letter traced out, I removed the sheet and began cutting out my letter on the notebook. So here it is after we've cut out our letter. This part is optional, but I went ahead and got a pink marker so that I could cover up any mistakes that I made. So here's what it should look like when it's all done. Now grab your cardstock and some scissors. The cardstock will be placed inside the notebook, so I went ahead and cut mine down a bit smaller. If you want, you can cut it down to the exact same size as the notebook. When you're done, grab your glue stick, open up your notebook, and glue the back of your front cover. When you've done that, go ahead and stick your cardstock onto the back. Now, you can go ahead and close your notebook and push around the edges of your letter to make sure that the cardstock is glued on properly. So here is what our Minecraft inspired notebook should look like when it's all done. Keep in mind you can do this for whatever letter of the alphabet that you want. Alrighty, so here are our Minecraft back to school supplies all done. As you can see, they are super cute and super easy to make. I hope you guys enjoyed this Minecraft back to school DIY and I hope it made you a little bit more excited about going back to school. Anyway you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this Minecraft DIY, please leave a like and share. Also, let me know if there's anything else you want me to DIY next. Bye!